Absorption of digested products. Absorption is the process by which the end products of digestion are taken into bloodstream. It is carried out by passive, active, or facilitated transport mechanism. Diffusion. Monosaccharides like glucose, amino acids of electrolytes like Cl- are absorbed by simple diffusion. The passage of these substances into the blood depends upon the concentration gradients. Facilitated transport. Fructose and amino acids are absorbed with the help of carrier ions like Na+. This mechanism is called facilitated transport. Active transport occurs against the concentration gradient and hence requires energy. Various nutrients like amino acids, monosaccharides like glucose and electrolytes like Na+, are absorbed into the blood by this mechanism. Fatty acids and glycerol being insoluble cannot be absorbed into the blood. They are incorporated into small droplets called micelles which move into the intestinal mucosa. They are reformed into very small protein-coated fat globules called kilomicrons which are transported into the lymph vessels in the villi. These lymph vessels ultimately release the absorbed substances into the bloodstream. The absorbed substances finally reach the tissues which utilize them for their activities. This process is called assimilation. The adjustment of faces to the outside through the anal opening is a voluntary process and is carried out by means of mass peristaltic movement. Disorders of Digestive System 1. Jaundice Jaundice, French word jaune, means yellow. It is yellowish pigmentation of the skin, eyes, due to increased levels of bile pigment, bilirubin in the blood. 2. Vomiting Vomiting is a forceful expulsion of the contents of one's stomach through the mouth and sometimes the nose. The feeling that one is about to vomit is called nausea, which usually proceeds to vomiting. Vomiting may be caused due to wide variety of conditions. 3. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Greek word, dia, through, reo, flow, meaning flowing through is a condition of abnormal bowel frequency and increased liquidity of faecal discharge. It causes dehydration and salt imbalance. 4. Constipation. Constipation refers to bowel movement that is frequent or hard to pass. It is common cause of painful defecation. Treatment includes change in dietary habits because it is, is a symptom, not a disease. Effective treatment may require first determining the cause. 5. Indigestion. Indigestion, also called dyspepsia, or an upset stomach, is discomfort in upper abdomen. It is not a disease, but a condition of symptoms including bloating, belching, and nausea, or heat burn. It leads to upper abdominal fullness and feeling full earlier than expected when eating. The causes of indigestion are inadequate enzyme secretion anxiety, food poisoning, overeating and spicy food.